So that's um, that report. It uh, was a, I think, had an effective message, and quite, quite an important message. Although it um, was again very broad. I found rather few. This is in um, 2013, early um, midway through. Relatively few discussions of using clouds in health informatics. Um, one, I've, one type of the, the, um, uh, cloud-based health informatics of the various startups is a venture capital startup, NextBio, which is got, because it has lots and lots of customers, including Merck, Abbott, Bristol Myers, which are all big pharmaceuticals, universities, etc. NIH, National Cancer Center, and, and the full NIH. And these are basically, this is just one, but I'm not, uh, I have no X in this particular company. I just illustrate that this is an example of a company that is trying to exploit the opportunities of bringing the world's genomic data, linking it with all other possible data, and doing, bringing this big data revolution to health informatics. Here's a slide set I found. I don't think it doesn't say an awful lot, except that there's, a, there's an opportunity to store everything in the cloud. Uh, I mean, these are almost uh, tautologies. Well, because we're going to paperless, we better store it somewhere, clouds are by definition the cheapest place to store it. Um, and then we can, if somebody, as we're allowed to federate clouds, we can link those clouds together to produce a giant database which will allow us to um, um, link, link the different, link, be able to make better decisions by more informed data. So, of course, we have to uh, conform with all the various <laughs> regulations like HIPAA. We need to transmit all the information securely, and we have to store everything securely. And there's a substantial amount of work on secure cloud storage to try to make this happen. And here, the well-known advantages of cloud computing. It is low cost. This issue of security is a sort of slightly controversial, but there are many people who believe this. The clouds are actually more secure than the other approaches, just because clouds are run professionally and are not just ad hoc organizations which are um, which are run by graduate students monitoring the computers and things like that. And of course, if we're living in a cloud, we can access that cloud over the internet, and that's um, allows uh, the interoperable exchange of data. And this will, of course, make electronic medical records more powerful and uh, accelerate their, their adoption. And it will enable sharing, it will be beneficial for the smaller companies. This is a little like the diversity uh, comment from the European Union. The, the clouds can make information available to everybody. Then, of course, we have the well-known uh, security and privacy issue. And we need to make certain that there are protections in there, both to stop accidental and maybe non-accidental access of data, which is inappropriate. But as we pointed out on the previous slide, there's the flip side of that. The professional management of clouds could be an advantage. Um, I'm not certain that it's true that cloud companies handle security, don't handle themselves. The basic security should be handled by the cloud company. Of course, the security of an application, that's usually the responsibility of the person who writes the application. That's true wherever you do your your data analytics, whether you do it, your local cluster in the cloud. So you obviously have to do, you have to actually check all this stuff out and see it's okay. 